I actually kind of got lucky. I'm gonna win one of these, aren't I? Welcome back, folks, to another good, good video. We are still live out here at Sunflower Hills Golf Club down here in Kansas City. Boys are feeling good. We're feeling fired up. Happy to be home for some of us. And we're gonna do another beautiful 1v1 challenge and then brought down to a three-person knockout. You guys have seen these before. They're a lot of fun. It's kind of fun to watch it because you get two people playing on one hole and then the other people kind of watch. They talk, <laughs> they murmur, they see who's gonna win, they debate who's gonna win. Some money's being played under the table, Steven. No. I mean, you never know. So for this particular one, we're gonna be switching up the teams. We have been doing me and Steve, Garrett, or Garrett and Grant, and then these two. But today we're gonna flip a tee and see who was going up against who kind of switch up the teams for you guys. So hopefully you guys are ready for this video. I'm super excited. I like to see the competition. Hopefully you guys are ready as well. Uh, Steven, over to you. Over to me. Anyways, if you guys have not checked out goodgoodgolf.com, we have our apparel. Our summer line is actually out. Also our swimsuits and the bucket. The bucket hats are out. Uh, he doesn't have them on. I think they're sold out right now. They will be back in stock soon. But anyways, um, this should be fun. Yeah. All right, here we go. Let's right. flip a tee to for the see first person. the so, matchups. So, first matchup. Garrett, Garrett is oh going to be God. versus who? Is the first matchup going to be on hole one? Too? Yep, yep, right, yep. Here we go. Oh, Grant. If it's Grant again. <laughs> Bubby! Bubby. Yeah. Okay, now we flip T to see who goes first. Bubby, hey, good luck to you, good brother. Luck, good luck, good luck. Good luck. Yeah. A little home court advantage here for Garrett Sharp. And what's a fun fact, Bubby and I have never lost in the first round. <laughs> so. And it's true, somebody's got to lose today, though. Garrett, I'm on first. This is going to be an exciting hole here. Hole one is straight downhill. It's about 400 something yards. So Garrett, a little bit of an advantage here, but Bubby, he can slap the ball around if he wants to. Oh, the trees. The leg swing skewed. Nice. That was a bad swing. I tried to save it. Unfortunately, I did not. So hopefully I got through the trees enough where I have a swing at the pin. Just gotta hope and pray. All right, y'all, I have yet to play this hole well the whole time we've been down here. I'm just gonna open up that left foot, swing, and trust like a 15, 20 yard slice. I can't even call it a fade. It's an even game, baby. All right. It's all about a break now. It's all about a pair of trees. Huh? I honestly hope I get Steve again. Me and Steve, we have a lot of fun. And I'm 2-0 against Steve, so that also helps. Bubby and I went in the trees. Not ideal, guys. I really do want to beat Bubby. Um, there's not many people that I'm competitive with in the group, but I would say Bubby's like, I'd say Bubby, if I ever play Bubby in anything, which is actually, this might be the first time I've ever done a 1v1 against Bubby. This in a final round of a knockout challenge. I'll be honest, like I want to beat him because Bubby, I know how competitive he is. And when you, when you sense that competitive drive, it, it makes you want to be extra competitive. Our balls literally ended up within like four yards of each other. It took us like a little bit to find Garrett's. Up against some trees here. He's got kind of a tough situation. I don't know if he can go for the green, but I just want to make sure, he wants to make sure that he is in play because Bubby is not in a good position with these roots in front of him either. So it's going to be some tough situations, Steve. Yeah, both the situations are not looking too good. It's my identification. Nice shot. That's good. Back in play. Stay in the fairway. No. Bubby's got an interesting shot here. I knew I'd hit a draw. <laughs> if I could hit a draw, this wouldn't be that bad of a shot. I mean, trees are 90% air, so I think I'm just going to aim right there if I pull it. Hope it gets on through. I can't tell from this angle, but I there's a big root in front of this ball here, and it's either going to be an issue or not. I don't know if behind the ball is going to be much of an issue because you can just swing for it because the roots are kind of fluffed up a little bit, but Bubby can definitely go for it here, I think. He can he can get through these trees and get on the green. Huh? That was actually really good. A little long, but that'll play. Good shot, Bubby. Thank you. You got green to work with. That was like, that was almost pure strength. All right, I got a 58. Downwind, kind of have to open it up. It's going to skip forward and hopefully stop somewhat quick. 46 yards. Not the spot you want to be in on such an easy hole, but we'll see. I think that's a couple feet, we'll take it. I had this feeling he was gonna hit it to a foot. Yep. I literally almost called it. Like I, I was gonna bet Steve. Everybody always said they should've bet after they thought they should've bet. Yeah. We should pretend he didn't say that. But where is Bubby's ball at? Back yonder. Oh, he went way long. Okay, but he's he's got a pretty solid shot. He's got a lot of green to work with here. Obviously, it's gonna be a tougher shot knowing that Garrett is a literally tap in par. So 
He's gonna have to hit this pretty close, and then uh, a playoff hole might be in play. How about Sonny's? The, the, the zoysia around the greens is new. I'm telling you, this place is looking pure. Yeah, I, I love this place. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, you have to expect that from Garrett. He's pretty much got a tap in par there. I gotta play this out to the left and try and get it up and down. The wind's hurting. I think it's gonna land pretty soft. Well, that's good. Dang. Pretty Not bad. Shot. Pretty good shot. Thank you. I gotta make a putt. Gotta make a putt. That's what makes golf fun. When it kind of matters. Get a little, get a little heart rate going on the line. This would be big. This would be big. Hopefully, we can both make these for par because it's just one of those holes that you get up to and you want to make birdie. But that's what Bubby's looking at. He's got some break to it, so he's gonna have to keep this one high if he wants to make it. Right. I feel like this putt just has to snap. Just go, but I gotta be aggressive with it. Gonna put a nice firm stroke on it. See if we can make it. Oh, and Gary kept the read. He kept the speed up. That was a great punt. Oh. oh. Alright. Probably looks a little bit longer for Gary right now. Uh, well, well, Gary. Well, center. Uh, great well done, well done. Great <laughs> Those tee shots put us in a rough position to get up and down and make a par. It feels good, I mean, obviously I hit mine right and Bubby hit his right and after that it was just kind of pinball in the trees and thankfully I was able to get up and down for par, but I move on to the knockout portion of this video. Let's freaking go. I'm trying to get three in a row, baby. Yeah. Oh my goodness, y'all. I, I had that putt red and then I adjusted it just a slice a bit to read in a little more breaking. Didn't happen, putt didn't fall, but Garrett making par from there, me making par from there would have been a really tough hole. <laughs> Let's move on, let's see what the next matchup is. Stay tuned. Here we are in the second hole. Obviously, once we flip this tee, we will know who's gonna play who for the rest of the uh, single portion of this video. So, here it is. Who goes first, who goes second and third? I'm gonna get That's him. Steve. I'm gonna Steve. get him. I'm gonna get him. Right, hold up. Steve. Hey, 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 hey. Ah, uh, no, I think no. that's towards Micah. That's Micah, Wait dude, that's Micah. That's towards Micah. Just Wait, that's center. Uh, we're saying that's center. We're gonna redo. That's too close for comfort. Right here, right here, right here. It's Great! a friend! <laughs> I hit my driver there. Give me that tea. All right, All right. Give me a handshake hand. Good team. luck. Good luck, boys. Yep. Have fun. Steve, we're always teammates. Mm. I, I literally, I haven't won any of these. I'm not very good at the solo type stuff, but I'm gonna give her a rip. It's my home course, Grant. You're up first. Yes, ready, up, ever, yes, all right. Up here first, par five. Going with the driver. Did well. Did very well. This is a longer hole into the wind like this. That's into the wind. That's gonna be okay. Maybe in the right rough. Yep. No, that could be in a in the piece of the fairway. Yeah. I actually it went a little bit too high, but I think that's gonna be good because I'm gonna be I'm gonna just stay short of that rough there. I've knocked Grant out in a different knockout challenge before. Oh Lord, have mercy. Oh, oh Steve. Oh, Castaneda. You just hit it out of bounds. I hit that OB. It's a retake. All right, this is my first shot. No, I hit that. I duck hooked that. I never hit duck hooked, but it just came into play today. We got a different driver. <laughs> Steve, you needed that on the first oh. one. That's, That's so good. So well, That's my pass I, I told Steve hit that driver, but it's okay. No. It's all right. Well, Steve's actually messing around right now with two drivers. So, for some reason, he hit the driver that he's been hitting bad. I, I don't understand. But Steve, you never know what goes through Steve's head because he doesn't really think too much before he hits the ball. It's just kind of, it's a quick reaction, you know? All right, we got about 235 to the pin. It's only 210 to carry the lip. I'm gonna try and hit like a low four iron up there. Get it as close to the green as I can. Should be, I actually should be able to get this there. Come in there. Okay. It's so good. Steve has a chance. Oh, it bounced right too. Oh, Steve. Steve. Had a little chance. Yeah. I hit that really solid. It just pushed it a little bit to the right. Yeah, I hit the it's pretty much dead center of the fairway. I got 233. Didn't see the side of Grant. I got a hybrid. I, here's the problem I put myself into. I can't lay up. I literally have to go for the green. So there's chances that I'm not going to hit it, but there's chances I will.
All right, I literally landed right by Grant, missed the green. I couldn't do that. I need to have a putt at par. And I just got to get up and down for bogey. I'm just going to try to put it close. It's the best thing you can do. <sighs> this is tough here. I want to see Steve chip this in, to be honest with you. I think he, I think he has the power to do it. Dude, that's what he actually looked at there. I just, bogey. All right, once you go, once you go OB and have to re-tee, it's pretty much over, but you can't think like that. All right, so my foreign actually is almost pin high. I hit that really solid. I got a standard chip here. I just saw Steve, so. I'm just trying to get this up there close. Give myself a good birdie look. Hit that good. Gonna get a read by Steve. All right, we got a putt. Nice bogey. Oh, Unfortunately, bogeys is not gonna get me through, but I saved it. That is a good bogey, though. You gotta respect it. I mean, he literally just made birdie to make bogey. That's what you always say when you hit an OB off the tee. You gotta make birdie to make bogey. That's birdie. Grant's in with birdie. All right. Dang. Well, at least I was able to play a solid hole and still make birdie, so. Good job, Steve. Here's, here's the salty part. If I wouldn't have gone OB, that would have been a birdie and we'd have had a little playoff, but <laughs> I duck hooked her, right? But it is what it is. I'm gonna win one of these, aren't I? Here we go, y'all. Final matchup. Garrett and Grant are in. So the two have been matched up before are in. Now we got between Matt and Micah. Hey. Hey, hey calm down. Hey, 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 you're lucky he's holding me back. You're lucky he's holding me back. Ladies and gentlemen, now we have Matt Sharp. Mike Morris on the final hole of the 1v1 matchups part of this video. Tiger you don't Torch. have to go first this time. It's That's surprising. Micah. I'm feeling good about this. Driver in hand. Just gonna hit it hard and uh, go find it and hit it again. Yeah. Oh, a little right, but he hit dead center nuts. That's not, that's gonna, might have tree trouble. No, I think that's gonna be far enough up actually. It should be uh, all right. I think it's gonna be okay. I think it's fine too. If you hit it, Really hard, and it looked like it wasn't moving too quickly, so I think I should be okay. Same spot. Okay. Same. Same. Uh, a little more left. Yeah. Right. They're about the same. Yeah. About the same. Not too bad of a look here, to be honest. About 94 yards. <sighs> Straight downwind is the only thing that I'm really worried about here, because I'm already going to be out of the rough, so it's going to be kind of tough to spin it. I'm just looking for something on the green, Colin. Something for a birdie. Something for a birdie look. Something that I can do something with. No. Kinda chunked that, not gonna lie. <sighs> Kinda chunked it. I have 78 yards to the pin. It's downwind and it's playing a couple yards uphill. So I'm gonna play this about a 75 yard shot. Try to just get it maybe a couple yards on the front and let it release back there. It's got a 60 degree in hand. 74 yards. Downwind, out of the rough. Just gotta land this one just over the fringe, let it run out. Yeah, it's actually gonna be hard to get this to stop because the wind is so intense. That was a great shot, Mike. That's a good. That was, that was great. A 10. I feel like that's that 25 perfect. feet long, but. No, I mean, it was, just, it was hard to judge. Yeah. Down I got a putt, and hopefully I can just put a put a good roll on that and see if it goes in the hole. I'm gonna try to roll that on a good line and see if the hole gets in the way. How about that? Mike is in there pretty good, so I gotta try to I gotta try and chip this in, honestly. But an up and down is for sure needed. Great, great. Oh. Ah, I hate how it wow, releases that like that. Gave it a run though. Dude, I see more putts going in the hole. You understand? I had the same putt not too long ago. Got a little closer than I thought for birdie. I thought I was like 25 feet, it's like 10. So it'd be cool to make this just for the confidence. Nice birdie, Tay. That, that was really good. Yeah, it was decent. It was, it was something. But birdie there gets me to the playoffs. I mean, for the to the knockouts for the first time ever in this challenge, which feels good. Hopefully I can, you know, use that birdie energy and get on through and get me a dub here. And then there were three. Two holes remain. Three dudes, two holes, par three, and a par four. Let's flip this T to see who goes first, right here. Great. Oh, me, Great. no way. <laughs> yep, all right, we're going. <laughs> Micah, me. This is actually a huge advantage for me because now I get to see what their balls do in the air. What's so beautiful about these challenges specifically is they're 
one hole elimination. So, so anything can happen. I mean, literally any one of us could come out here on a good day and make an eagle or make a birdie. And maybe the underdog could take the best player and good get out. You never know. I'm going with the pitching wedge here. This is what I hit the other day, so. You beat me, so you better win. Oh no. Draw. Go, Gotta go, hit the edge go, of the go, green. Go, 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 go. Holy huh? Huh? destiny. They the wow! Did he actually hit a five? That was a I wind up there, my man. That's crazy. Wait, I, I, I thought it was short. What'd you and then just, I had pitching wedge. 152 downwind. I got a 58 degree after seeing that. I have a 51 degree. I'm gonna try to hit like a controlled shot here. You can't get it too high because then it floats, and if it's too low, then the wind just pushes it down. So you, you really gotta hit perfect shot downwind. Oh, no, just on the green, you have to get shot. That's short. See, that's what happened. It went a little too high and just got knocked down. This looks really good. And it is really good. Really good. Wow. Respect. Nice shot. Button for bird. Let's go, baby. Well, when I hit that initially, I thought it wasn't even going to carry the bunker, and I'm down here, so a lot of wind up there. I got to get this up and down. Tig's going to make get up and down. I mean, he always does, so. Not an easy shot, though. Great shot, Grant. That was a great shot from Grant. A little chip in would be really nice right now. Nice shot, Micah. That's not great. This is for my birdie, guys. And to advance to uh, the final hole. Yes! Oh, birdie. Wow. I needed that. I advanced to the final hole. Let's go, baby. All right, guys, this is pretty straight, I think. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Money. Money. Adjustment work. Get up and down, Micah. You got to know when you got to do it. Nice cut. Close to the pin. So, guys, to make this next close to the pin as fair as possible, we are gonna do a simple shot from the fairway on hole number five out here from 100 yards. All right, guys, playoff hole. 85 yards to the pin here. We're gonna flip a tee to see who goes first. Go ahead, Tig. Me and Grant, see you advance the final hole. Grant goes first. Yes, Give sir. me some good mojo. It's going in the hole, that's all I can see. I just see the future. That was just not a good wedge shot. If Micah gets this anywhere on the green, he pretty much is gonna secure it. That's just, oh, it's frustrating. Sit, 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 sit. Yes. Yes. God dang! Was Mike even trying to hit the green? That was <laughs> Bro, I can't believe yes. my eyes right now. That was he had an open door at it. Just flew, man. Just jumped off the club face. Two dudes, one hole. Let's see who can win it. Straight away, par five, into the wind. This is a beast of a hole yeah. today. It's already playing the hardest hole on the course. Let's see who. Good uh, luck to you. Good luck to you, man. Me right. first. Let's go. Got to put the pressure on, brothers. All right. I know one thing. I have played this hole, and everything kicks dead left on this fairway. So I'm gonna make sure I keep it up the right side. That's gonna be really bad, actually. I thought if it carried the tree, it would be fine. The thing is, guys, that left is scary because if you hit it left, it's OB. If you hit it right, it's never, I mean, it's fine. So, normally I try and hit it right, play draw, just went straight. Yep, that is the miss. We literally basically did the same thing. He's a little left to me, though. It's okay. This is a par five, so I don't think either of us are gonna be able to reach the green. Grant's technically out, but I'm gonna go ahead since we were close to my ball. Um, I gotta get it under this limb and over these trees. Hit it about 190 yards at most, so I got a seven iron into the wind. I actually got a pretty good break to even be in the position I'm in, so I'm happy. Oh, get up! Got through. I got a little lucky. I was scared of that uh, initial limb. Thankfully, I got through the tree. I got really lucky there, guys. This is actually a good break. I'm just off the fairway here, but it rolled down the side. I have a five iron, and I'm just gonna try and give myself a good yardage into the screen. It's like 300 at the pin, so I'm not gonna make it all the way there. Good ball. 
That was good. I was, I was worried about that contact because the ball was so far below my feet, but came out perfect. 132 yards. I got lucky once again, got through the tree. I got a pitching wedge in hand, straight into the wind. Oh. Go. Go. All right, Grant. All right. That yeah, grinds the gears. As soon as I hit it, I knew it was short. Did not hit hard. 85 yards to this pin. I laid it up just short of this rough here. Good opportunity for Grant, because I'm not even putting. I'm actually, I spun back off the fringe even into the rough. You know, if I could get a wedge shot online, it would be great. But that is, uh, it's been high. Pull the pin, left to right break for the birdie. This would be an awesome way to finish. Great shot. Well, Grant has an opportunity here to put him away. See if he can capitalize on this. Garrett made a good par. Grant has about 35, 30 feet for birdie. It's a little bit of a slider though, so I don't know. This is one of them ones you would really like to see go in. I got to look here, but it does have a ton of break on it. It's going to snap to the left at the end. Zoink, scubers! Onto the playoff hole. Unfortunate, I could not hit a good wedge shot there. It was the right distance. I just missed it like 20 feet right. Solid two putt there. Onto the playoff hole. That one really many and good, good. So feeling a little bit of nerves, but it's good. We're onto a playoff hole, which means we have to flip a tee to see who goes first here on hole seven, part four. Grant, who's it gonna be? It's gonna be me. Yeah. I got a driver. Here. I actually like that because I kind of want to see what he does here. Sounds good. Uh, no. No. Oh, no, too far. Oh, oh. Oh, no. That Did took a hard. Left? No, it took a hard kick left. Hard kick left. Well. I hit it really good, but that wind started pushing it more left than I would have liked. I could be in a bad spot there. It landed in the fairway, but they said it kicked straight left, which on hole seven, everything kicks left, so you have to hit it in a very specific slot up the right if you want to hit the fairway. That's literally perfect. When I say you cannot hit a better shot. You cannot hit a better shot. Now that might be in the yeah. hazard. <laughs> With this hole, literally anything can happen. Like he could roll down the car path and go all the way to the hazard, and that's how that's how crazy this hole is. But he'll probably be in the middle of the fairway. 91 yards to the pin here, which is right where I want to be. I think Garrett's rolled into the hazard. I know this hole plays a little bit downhill, so I'm gonna go with the 60 degree here. Try and hit as close as I can. That was pretty solid. Right on the center of the green, that's all I wanted to do. Just give myself a good two putt. Here we go. The sure is off. Yeah, I was about to say, you guys might be wondering why my new good, good apparel is off. We this is my life. I actually kind of got lucky not to be in that water, so 55 yards, I got a 60 degree, or 58 degree. No. It's out. I mean, the fact that he was able to advance the ball forward, get it out of the hazard, now he can get up and down for a par. Dang. That's really all you can do. I hit behind the ball way too much. I really need to hit the ball first. Not everyone can be like Steve. Not the best situation that I want to be in, but hopefully I can get this up and down for par. A little long, not as close as I would like, but hopefully I can make a good putt. I'm not gonna lie, I knew Garrett. Would hit it up there close. He's gonna have a little bit of work for his par, but I just want to make this. I don't even want to mess around with the next putt. I had a feeling. I really had a feeling. A lot of bad golf I've been playing lately, so that feels amazing. Oh my gosh. Congratulations. Yeah. Dude, I don't know what it was, but there was an energy coming from that putt when he stepped over it. That is my first win in good good, like a solo win. So it feels good. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's tough playing on camera, guys. It really is. Like, even though I played a lot of competitive golf, it's tough, you know? You, only, you always want to play so good and you put a lot of pressure on yourself. So it's nice to pull the win out.
What a way to win, too, with a birdie. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the third installment. We will be doing another one here in Kansas City soon. Um, stay tuned for that. That'll be the fourth one that we've done, which we're excited to bring you guys. Hope you guys are enjoying these. I can tell you this right now. There is so much pressure when you're in the 1v1 matches before yeah. the knockout because you want to make it through so oh. freaking bad. It's like, insane. The competitive drive comes out. Yeah, know, you like, can feel it in everybody. Everybody wants to beat each other so, so bad. So, oh, that feels amazing. And now I got a little bit of confidence. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, stay tuned for more good, good content in the future, near future, and present. <laughs>